Well, this young lady has been dominating golf since the very beginning. At the age of 10, she actually won every tournament she entered and received the Player of the Year Award. And she also travels around the country motivating kids to stay in school. Get used to the face, the name, golfing phenom, Zakia Z. Randall. She joins me right now in Atlanta. Good to see you. Nice to see you as well. So you've been called everything from the promising, you know, golfer, the golf phenom, right. golf protege. That must be a very heavy title to I, hold up. Yeah, of course. I think, yeah, you know, when you're on the path to success, most people, you know, try to put names on something that, um, that they don't see very often. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I've gotten quite a few names that, you know, like Prodigy and, you know, the rest of those. And so you, you're 19 now. You've been playing since 10. But golf wasn't your first love of sport. It was tennis. Right. I've always been very athletic. So I picked up a game of tennis, actually, when I was around 7 and 8. And um, I made the transition to golf when I was about 10. A friend and family actually introduced me, and I, I fell in love with the game ever since then. Wow. And so what has this game brought for you? I mean, what is it about uh, the game of golf, the sport of golf, that's ke kept you so engaged? Well, uh, golf teaches you a lot of life values. And um, I, um, I've traveled all over the world, met a lot of people, and it's just, you know, given me so many great experiences. So I hear you do quite a few, a few things. You're a public speaker, for one. Yes. You do some modeling as well. You're also a music producer. Yes. So where do you have time for the golf? I, I where do you have time for the other things? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, my main uh, interest is golf. You know, I make that clear to everybody because everybody asks me, oh my gosh, you do so many things. But um, I, I do the other things in my spare time. And, uh, but I want to make sure that people know that golf is, you know, what I always love to do. So you want to find yourself in the LPGA. Oh, and there we got some uh, photographs there of golfing as well as uh, modeling too. You want to find yourself in the LPGA. What's it going to take in order to get to that point, that level? Uh, well, it's going to take sponsorship. Uh, people, uh, sponsorship and uh, the support of the community. And, and you're on your way there now? Yes. I'm on you're way. on break right now from... Uh, competitive play, yes. but I guess you've trained all the time. Yes, of course, I train year-round. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so the competitive play picks up again in the summer. In the summer, yes. And in the meantime, I hear you got a little, you know, a few props here. Yes. To kind of keep your game sharp uh -huh. and tight. All right, we're going to do a little, I actually picked this up when I was younger. Okay. And we, I um, did this with a few kids, and let's see. And I'll put it through my legs here. I think a lot of folks probably saw this for the first time when they saw a Tiger Woods commercial. Exactly, yes. And mm -hmm. did, were you inspired by that and you just started picking um, it up? Or is this something yes, that actually, all golfers do and I just didn't know? Well, actually, <laughs> I picked it up when I was younger. You know, kids would get into a circle of like six and we'll all, you know, be tossing the ball around and we'll make games out of it. So I got it, you know, actually from... A, when I was younger. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So who's your idol? Who, who do you, you know, who are you inspired by, uh, whether it be on the women's circuit or the men's circuit, uh, that you say, you know what, that play, that's right. what I'm trying to emulate? Um, you know, actually, one of my models, I actually love Annika Sorenstam. She's no longer playing right now. She's retired. But I think she was just a great all-around player. And uh, she does a lot for the community as well. When you talk to young people, what do you say to them? I mean, a lot of them are saying, wait a minute, you're young too, you're 19, right. you know, and you're still climbing. Right. Well, how do you engage them? What do you, what do you say to a lot of young people that you talk to, to encourage them to stick with a dream? Well, I always tell them and encourage them that, you know, do something that they're passionate about. You know, uh, passion really uh, drives your interest in whatever you actually, you know, pick up in your career. Fantastic. One to watch. Uh, Zakia Randall, nice to meet you. Thanks so much. I know we'll Thank be you. seeing a lot more of you. Yes, of course. Get used to the name. And you like folks to call you Z. Yes, I like Z. That's nice and catchy. Uh -huh. They won't forget that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Last in the alphabet, but first in the game, right? Right. Okay. You can borrow that if you want to. Okay, thank okay. you. Be All right. <laughs> All right, Z. Thanks so much. Thank Good to you. see you.